But I want to start by talking to you about two professional development books I have loved. This one, Reading Revealed, is brand new from Scholastic. And I have a blurb on the back which tells you how much I love this book. But several things I love about it. If you go into who wrote it, the contributing authors, it takes them three pages for you to see all of the people they tapped into um, that are sharing some of their thinking and just like what they've learned as teachers over the years in teaching reading. And this collaboration, 50 Expert Teachers Share What They Do and Why They Do It, was introduced by Ernest Morell. And if you don't know him, a former NCTE president, I absolutely adore him. So this is one thing I've been sharing with teachers that I think is really important. And it's called the What Matters Chart. And it's on page 230. And um, the thing that strikes me is that step one for all readers is students understand that reading is a meaning making process. And I have found that often students that I talk to think they're supposed to get one particular thing from a text instead of realizing that it is a back and forth, a transaction, as Louise Rosenblatt said, between the reader and the text. So what I take even from this book might be different than what you take. And so I love that reminder. Highly recommend this. Part two, another professional development book, Reading to Make a Difference. This is Lester Laminack and Katie Kelly's new book on using literature to help students speak freely, think deeply, and take action. Now, one of the things, and these guys are both such amazing educators, if you don't know them. Um, I love, for example, that throughout this book, it will have lists of texts and I am always like how do I organize all of the information that I get when I'm on Twitter or somewhere else and they list books so for example this list consider titles that feature diverse families including single parents step parents foster parents same-sex parents grandparents as primary caregivers adopted children or homeless families and then there's a long list of books that would meet that criteria so for me one of the thrills of this book is the number of texts these two who know everything have included another thing i love this list of references in the back i always i'm one of those readers i was talking to kylene beers about this who always goes to the work cited page and looks for the work that they're drawing on that Katie and Lester thought about as they were writing this book. And then sometimes I go back and read the things that they read to get there. So it's an extensive list, really powerful. Um, but I also like how it will have a little bit of work, a little bit of things to think about, and then it will have a reflection piece for teachers. So reading to make a difference, a new book from Heinemann, highly recommend.